Alice Hagen, who was 29 years old when this picture was taken, became interested in art while she was still a child, especially after she attended Mount St. Vincent Academy and saw the paintings the nuns there had done. When she got older, her father thought that she should learn to trim hats, to keep busy and make a little money. But Alice really wanted to paint pictures, so she persuaded her father to let her attend the Victoria School of Art and Design, which is now the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design. In about 1895, Alice took private lessons in China painting from Bessie Brown in Halifax. She decided to specialize in that art, which was then popular. In 1899, she traveled to New York for further instruction. Much later, when she was about 60 years old, she began to make pottery. We shall look first at examples of her painting on China and later at her pottery. In 1901, when Alice painted this china bowl, using a Nova Scotian subject in a design was quite unusual. Most china painters copied traditional china designs. Here, Alice copied a miniature painting of a Micmac woman, Christiane Morris, who was famous for her beautiful porcupine quill work. The stylization in later Art Nouveau contributed to the rise of another style Alice used, Art Deco. In Art Deco, motifs such as the flowers on this vase had little reference to the natural things on which they were based. Notice how very flat these flowers are and how the swing of the Art Nouveau whiplash line has disappeared from the design, replaced by a simple curve. The whole design has been stylized to fit the rules of Art Deco. Throughout her life, Alice painted landscapes using oil paint, watercolor and pastels, and china paint too, as you can see here. Because her family was prosperous, she had leisure time to pursue her career in china painting and later in pottery. In addition, her husband made sure that there was always a china painting studio and kiln in their home. Alice made colored glazes like these by mixing oxides with clear glaze. Sometimes she applied several glazes in thick coatings so they would run and intermingle while in the kiln, as on the pottery you see here. This type of decoration on pottery was very popular in the 1950s. These wheel-thrown bowls are examples of the agate ware which Alice Hagen called Scotian pebble. The mottled effect of this pottery is produced by kneading slabs of colored clays together. The clay is then thrown, fired, and finished with clear glaze. This process is difficult to complete perfectly. Alice was nearly blind at the end of her life, but she kept on working. Using this difficult technique, she made the bowl on the right by feel when she was 96 years old, just three years before she died at the age of 99. Alice was a gifted teacher. She taught China painting early in her career, and later she showed many teachers how to make pottery, thus reviving the craft of pottery in Nova Scotia. <laughs> 